So now before we can start trading on KuCoin, we're gonna have to fund our account with either fiat currency like euros, US dollars and so on, or also with cryptocurrency. So that's what we're gonna look at now. So in order to fund our account, we're gonna go to our wallet icon right here on the top. And then we're gonna go to our main account. Then once we're here, we're gonna see a deposit button right here on the top. So we're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna either see a screen for depositing fiat currency or for depositing cryptocurrency. Now, if you wanna switch between them, you can just go to the right right here and there you're gonna see a button where you can, where you can go uh, to deposit fiat currency or cryptocurrency depending on where you are right now. So we're just gonna start with how to deposit fiat currency right here. So as you can see right here, in order to deposit fiat currency onto our KuCoin account, we're gonna have to go through KYC. So we're gonna have to go through identity verification. So if you wanna deposit fiat currency, you can just click right here where it says identity verification. Then you're gonna to go to the security settings automatically to the KYC verification. And here you're just gonna to have to type in all your personal information and you're also gonna to have to upload some kind of ID card uh, in order for, for them to verify your identity. And by the way, we don't need to do any identity verification if you just want to deposit cryptocurrency. This is just for depositing fiat currency. So once you've completed the KYC and you actually got verified, then you can come back here to the deposit fiat page and you can decide on what kind of currency you actually want to deposit. So currently it's set to euros, but you could also change this right here to any currency that you can see available right here. So we could, for example, just look for US dollars. And then as you can notice, depending on what currency we choose here, the payment method also changes. So for euros, we did have the option to use a bank transfer, but now for US dollars, we only have the option bank card, so credit card, or ADV cash, which is a third party provider. So I personally don't recommend to use either of these if you don't need to, because the fees are gonna be higher compared to using a bank transfer. But I think that currently the only currency that you can deposit using a bank transfer on KuCoin is if you use euros. And currently they also have some kind of error as you can see right here, where they are not displaying the payment details. So normally here on the right side, you would see the account information where you need to wire those funds to along with the reference number and so on. So a couple of days ago, this actually worked when I tried it out. So now it's not working. I don't know why. Um, maybe when you watch this video, it's going to be working again. You can also send uh, the information to yourself if you click on this little um, send button right here and then just wire the information or wire the money to, uh, to your KuCoin account. So now let's look at how to deposit cryptocurrency onto KuCoin. So again, to come to the deposit page, you're gonna go to the wallet icon on the top right, then go to your main account, and then you're gonna see the deposit button right here at the top. And then maybe you're already on the deposit crypto page. If not, then you can click on deposit crypto right here, and then it will switch over to the deposit crypto page. So then we wanna first decide on what kind of crypto we want to deposit. So here, I'm just gonna choose a Litecoin. So as an example, and then we're gonna choose a network. So what kind of blockchain are we gonna to use to deposit that cryptocurrency? Uh, so we're gonna choose just the Litecoin uh, chain right here. And then it's gonna generate me my deposit address for KuCoin. So here's very important that you're gonna actually uh, use this address and don't make any mistakes. So the best way would be to copy and paste it. So you can just click on this copy button right here and then you go to your wallet or wherever you're sending the coins from. In my example, I'm just gonna go to my Binance account right here and then I'm just gonna paste in the address right here. So I always use copy and paste so I don't make any mistakes and it already recognizes what network we are sending it with, which is Litecoin network and then we can decide on the amount that we want to send. So let's just send 0.1 uh, Litecoin and then click on withdraw right here. Confirm the withdrawal. So now I initiated the deposit here on Binance so we can go back to our KuCoin account right here and we can close this page. So now we have to wait until the coins will be actually in our KuCoin account, depending on what kind of blockchain you're using. 
it's going to take a different amount of time. But um, just come back, check here after like an hour and just go to your wallet icon right here. Then go to your main account and then you should see your cryptocurrencies here in the main account.